أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افتع علينا فتوه العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد My dear and most respected brothers and sisters and friends I greet you all with the greetings of Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you and welcome once again to this special program coming to you from the Islamic Forum of Canada where we share with you this message of mercy from God Almighty to all of his creation. Today it's the final program for the month of Safar. Uh, next week, Saturday, it would be the beginning of the great month of Rabil Awwal or Rabil Anwar or Rabil Munawwar, the month of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Uh, we've been talking about this bridge to Rabia. Safar, the month of Safar is the bridge to Rabia. And here we, we are at the end of Safar and on the threshold of the blessed month of Rabil Awal. Next Friday will be the first day of Rabil Awal. Next Thursday night will be the first night of Rabil Awal. So these are uh, really exciting times for us as we prepare to welcome the month of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Today I also want to request you to uh, raise your hands and join me in a special dua to recite Surah Fatiha for my mother. Uh, she passed away uh, as this time of the year. This is the seventh anniversary of her passing. And I want to request you to recite with me now Surah Al-Fatiha with the knee of Maghfira and Rahmah and Dukhul Jannah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on her and forgive her and bless her with the highest levels of Jannah, Jannah al Firdaus. Ameen. So, Rabbana taqabba minna, Rabbana bisiri al-Fatiha. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين Amin, Amin, Amin. And I also want to request you if you can kindly recite on her behalf, on behalf of my mother, Surah Al Kawthar, Inna Ataina Al Kawthar, three times, and Surah Al Ikhlas, Kul Hula Wahad, seven times on her behalf. And those of you who are able to recite Surah Yasin, uh, I kindly request you to recite Surah Yasin on her behalf. Uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant her blessings and elevate her maqam in the dunya and in the akhirah. Amin, Amin. I want also in our program today to continue with the theme we've had for this month of Safar to uh, identify and to feature and honor some of the outstanding Islamic personalities. We, we mentioned several of them so far, including Sayyidah Maimuna bint al-Hadith, 
the beloved wife of the Prophet Sallallahu Umm al uh, who passed away in this month of Safar. And so we recited uh, Salawat on her behalf and continue to do so. And then uh, Sayyidatuna uh, Ruqayya bint Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the beloved daughter of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sayyidu Ruqayya, uh, who was also the wife of Sayyidina Uthman ibn Affan, uh, a great personality. The Prophet loved her tremendously. She passed away uh, in this month of Safar as well. We remember her. And we've mentioned her in the, our previous program. A Sayyidah Juwayriya, Umm al Mu'mineen, Juwayriya bint al Hadith, uh, another of the wives of the Prophet, وسلم, who also passed away in this month of Safar. We remember them. Also, we remember uh, Imam Hassan, Sayyidina al Imam Hassan, the grandson of the Prophet, وسلم, the son of uh, Sayyidina al Imam Ali and Sayyidatuna Fatima al Zahra, who passed away in this month of Safar. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevate his maqam in the dunya and in the akhirah. Uh, and also, the great Imam of his time, Imam Salahuddin Al Ayyubi, the great uh, Mujahid of Islam, who dedicated his life to uh, to uplifting the Ummah of Rasulullah Sallallahu And great were his achievements, great were his victories, great were his contributions to the well-being and the advancement of the Ummah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Imam Salahuddin Al Ayyubi, this great Imam of the Ummah, uh, who also passed away in this month of Safar. And then one of the great personalities, and especially from the uh, the subcontinent, uh, Khwaja Nizamuddin Awliya, who was born in this month of Safar. Uh, he paid great service to Islam and spread Islam uh, to uh, countless numbers of people and even to this day many uh, many people continue to uh, benefit from his blessings and his good deeds and his good works may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevate him in the dunya and in the akhirah these are some of the personalities we want to remember in this month of Safar uh, to honor them to recite salawat on their behalf and so I also encourage you to join this special salawat project that we've started in this month of Safar we're now on the threshold hold of Rabi al-Awwal and this is the time and the opportunity for Salawat to recite uh, Salawat or Darul Sharif uh, for the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to recite Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim as many times as you can. We want to suggest a routine that you, you can do and this is the routine of reciting the Weird Al-Am Dhikr which has uh, the Istighfar and Salawat and tahleel to recite 100 times in the morning and 100 times in the evening uh, the salawat allahumma salli ala sayyidina muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim 100 times in the morning 100 times in the evening continue to do so in this month of safar in a month of rabi al-awwal in a month of rabi al-thani and let it be a lifelong habit that uh, you you can uh, you can inculcate in your daily activities, in your daily routine. We have this special salawat project, which is the khatam of one million salawat, to recite one million salawat for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. We mentioned in our previous program, we've completed the first khatam of a million salawat. Uh, we are now uh, almost uh, to the end of the second khatam of another million salawat, and we want to continue this. We want you to join this project. Recite the salawat as much as you can and then you go to the Islam Forum website to the Salawat page and register uh, the details your name and how many Salawat you pledge to recite in this period of Rabi'ah the season of celebrating the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so the one million Salawat project we have the special book blessings of Salawat uh, that you can obtain from the Islamic Forum and it, tell, it gives you all the details of the Salawat including many of the great virtues on blessings of reciting salawat on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The scholars of Islam, they mention miftahul uh, khayr kullahu as salatu wa salamu ala nabi. The key to all goodness in your life, in this dunya and in the akhirah, is to recite salat uh, and salams on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to recite the uh, durud sharif for salawat for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So I want to encourage you to do this as much as you can. 
uh, uh, so that you can bring this blessing in your life and in the lives of your family members, your parents, your spouse, your children, your loved ones, and so on. Get them to recite this salawat. Uh, and and uh, the more you recite salawat in your home, the more the noor uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will descend upon you, your family, and your homes and bring blessings and barakah to you in your entire life. So the salawat that you should recite now, uh, starting if you haven't already done so in these last few days of Safar and then in month of Rabia, the month of the Prophet ﷺ, the month of the birth of the Prophet, the month of the commemoration and celebration and the maulid of the Prophet ﷺ, and the month of Salawat, reciting uh, Salawat for the Prophet ﷺ. So be mindful about this. You can get this book, Blessings of Salawat, from the Islamic Forum and recite your Salawat your, or Dawru Sharif as much as you can. Join the Salawat project so you can be part of this Khatan that's going on. And we've made it global. Uh, students and brothers and sisters from many countries in the world are part of this project. Uh, last year, we recited more than 30 million Salawat as part of the Rabil Awal project. We want to achieve that this year and do some more, inshallah. So I want you to be part of this great uh, sacred uh, program, the One Million Salawat Project. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless each and every one of you. Ameen. At the Islamic Forum School, we teach Islamic sciences, Arabic language, and Tajweed training. Classes are available for all age groups. It was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, A faithful person cannot have enough of teachings that lead to piety, guidance, until it leads him to paradise. It was also narrated, Scholars are the inheritors of the sciences of the prophets of Allah. It was also narrated, Words of wisdom are the beloved of the faithful. was narrated that Rasulullah was asked why he fasts Mondays. He said, it was the day I was born. As was narrated in Hadith Qudsi, those whom are engaged in my mentioning, I am with them as if I was their companion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Those who mention Allah profusely are given by Allah forgiveness and great reward. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I want to share with you this wonderful opportunity, our new masjid fundraising appeal. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned many virtues of the masjid, the house of Allah. The Prophet says, whoever builds a masjid for Allah in this world, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will build for them, God Almighty will build for them a palace, a mansion in Jannah, in paradise. So this is a great opportunity. We, we are con continuing our construction of our masjid. The next phase or the phase that we 
we're doing right now is for the roof or ceiling of the masjid. And we'd like to sponsor one block for $100 today and then to join a monthly pledge to donate something every month uh, for the uh, masjid project and to support Islamic Forum in all the activities that we are doing. Uh, we request you, we recommend $100 per month as part of your monthly pledge. If you can afford more, the blessings are more from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Last week, uh, we were invited to visit Vat the Vatican in Rome and for meeting with uh, Pope Francis. Uh, it was a great honor indeed for me to be part of this uh, interfaith delegation that went to Vatican City for this important uh, visit and meeting. I also had the opportunity to visit the Muslim community in Italy, in Rome, and in Turin, a city which is near to Milan. And inshallah, in future programs, we would share with you additional details of uh, this amazing visit to Italy that we were honored with. Uh, we are having a special sisters only program, the Nisa Tea and Social event on Sunday, November the 11th. Uh, at 2.30 p.m. at the Islamic Forum. Uh, we encourage all our sisters viewing this program to get your tickets, contact the Islamic Forum to reserve your tickets today and uh, promote this program to other, Mus uh, other sisters that you know, both Muslims and non-Muslims. Uh, they're all welcome for this special sisters-only program. Uh, and if you'd like to contribute financially towards sponsoring this program, please contact the Islamic Forum, inshallah. Our annual Maulid and Nabi dinner will be held on Sunday, December the 2nd, uh, 4 p.m. at Islamic Forum. Uh, so please reserve that date uh, for the Maulid and Nabi family dinner at the Islamic Forum Sunday, December 2nd. And then the CCAS, the Ahlul Sunnah Council of Canada, will be having the annual Maulid and Nabi event on Saturday, December 8th, uh, starting at 6 p.m. at the Islamic Forum. The ongoing programs continue. I just want to share some of them with you. On Fridays, our Juma program starting at 1 p.m. every Friday throughout the year. Uh, please attend if you're able to, and then tell others uh, that you know to attend the special Juma program every Friday, 1 p.m. at the Islamic Forum. Our Saturday Islamic School continues 10.30 a.m. Uh, every Saturday. Please register your children and tell other family friends to re register their children as well. Our TV program, same time, same place. Uh, please make sure you look at the program and tell others that you know to look at the program Saturday, 3.30 p.m., inshallah, and the Maulid family program, 6 p.m., every Saturday at the Islamic Forum for you and your entire family. On Thursday, we have a special halaqa for youth, both males and females, on tasawwuf and dhikr. If you're interested in dhikr, this is a place for you to be Thursday evening, 7 p.m., at the Islamic Forum. Uh, we look forward to uh, to seeing you there, inshallah. Uh, and these are some of the things I want to tell you, inshallah. You can join us for this amazing journey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Ameen. <laughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, O oh, you who believe, when you hear the call to Jumu'ah, hasten to make the mentioning of Allah. It was narrated that Rasulullah said, Friday is the best of days that the sun has risen on. And he also said, there is an hour on the day of Jumu'ah, or Jumu'ah, during which the prayer of a Muslim is answered. It was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, A hajj that is accepted by Allah cannot be rewarded with less than paradise. It was also narrated, Those who visit me in my grave and make salam to me, Allah will return my soul to me so that I can return their salam. It was also narrated, 
he who makes hedge, and during which does not transgress in word or action, will be forgiven his sins, to become sinless like a newborn. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace and blessings of God Almighty be upon him, he said in a beautiful hadith, Awla nasi bi yawm al-qiyamati aktharuhum alayya salatin. The closest of people to me, the nearest of people to me on the day of judgment are those who are most frequent in reciting salat upon me, salawat or darud sharif upon me. So the more you recite salawat on the Prophet Sallallahu the closer you get to him in the dunya and in the akhirah and especially on the day of judgment when we need this closeness to the Prophet because we need his shafa'a, his intercession. And so I want you to commit yourself to reciting salawat on the Prophet Sallallahu to recite Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabi al-ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. If you can get in the habit of reciting it as part of the weird alarm dhikr a hundred times in the morning, a hundred times in the evening, then it would be good for you in this month, in one month of 30 days, uh, 200 times a day, that's 6,000 6, times you can do it inshallah. I don't want you to get your family members and relatives and friends to recite this salawat on the Prophet وسلم, as part of the uh, one million salawat project that we have for the season of Rabi, the season of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bless you with the great blessings of Salawat. Remember, the key to all goodness in this dunya and in the Akhirah is Salawat on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bless you. Ameen. <laughs> Yeah.
This dream a reality. We need your financial support. Please donate generously. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I want to remind you of the special sisters program we're having at Islamic Forum, the Nisa Tea and Social on Sunday, November the 11th. Inshallah, starting at 2:30 p.m. at the Islamic Forum. Please get your tickets and tell other sisters that you know to come out to this event. You need to get your tickets before the day of the event. Tickets will not be available on the day of the event. So this is a special sisters program. I want to make special du'a for uh, one of the brothers in our community who passed away recently. Brother Sheikh Karim, uh, he was an outstanding member of the community. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him with uh, maghfira and rahmah and dukhul jannah. May Allah have mercy on him, forgive him, bless him with genital fear doubts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his entire family with sabr and istiqamah. Uh, and I request you to continue to make dua for Brother Sheikh Karim who passed away recently. I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, those uh, brothers and sisters and families who have donated to the Islamic Forum in the recent past. We, may, we make dua Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them and enrich them uh, many more times. I want to mention a few names. Uh, Dr. Naveed Muhammad, uh, Brother Ahmed Hibasha, uh, Sis Khatul bin Zamanuddin, Susan Al Wahbi. Uh, Asad Ali, uh, Rahman Borai, and then uh, those who have joined the monthly pledge, we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, bless them inshallah, uh, Brother Louis Selvarajan, Azimu Nisha Rahoman, Bibi Khan, uh, Bibi Zairul Khan, Naim Ali, Muhammad Faridi, Basil Fadil, Begum Nusrat Akbar, uh, Bibi Halima, Ali, Harpeet Singh, and several others that have donated. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of them, and we hope you can all join. You remember the special appeal for you to donate something to the Islamic Forum, sponsor one block for $100, and then join the monthly pledge uh, so you can donate something every month at the Islamic Forum. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless each and every one of you. Until we meet again, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. بلغ العلا بكماله كشفا Shut up.